Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Navaris and today I'd like to speak to you about the Magicka Templar build for the Somerset chapter. Um, now I'm still farming the Sororia setup on the EU but I know that there's a few people who are looking for other setups, perhaps using setups that aren't available in the Somerset chapter. Um, so I will be doing a, another build video in about a week's time on the Magicka Templar. So with this setup, it's very similar to what was available in the last patch. Um, I'll go over the gear setup at a later point, but at the moment I'm a stage 4 vampire, I have the Thief Mundus Stone and I also use Witch Mother's Potent Brew for this build. Um, so I'll be doing the DPS parses first, then I'll go over the gear setup, skill points, champion points and then I'll finish it up with the rotation. Okay, so let's go over the gear setup. So at the moment, on the front bar, I'm running the Asylum's Perfected Inferno Staff with a Flame Enchantment and uh, an Infused Trait. Um, so this staff is really, really useful in solo situations, but it's also useful in trial situations if 1-2 to two DPS are using this. Um, but because uh, there's a link between a certain skill, we have to use Force Shock to get the benefit. Um, so I'm, I've got Force Pulse at the moment. And that will give us the three elemental debuffs, so that's Burning, Concussion and Chilled status effects. It lasts for 10 seconds, so you can get uh, good use out of that. I would use the uh, Moondancer Inferno Staff um, if I don't use the Perfected Staff. 
and the main reason is because the fifth piece, if I activate a synergy on the front bar, I can get extra spell damage or extra magicka recovery. So it's very beneficial to have this uh, on the front bar because it can also transfer between both bars. You're losing 129 spell damage, but apart from that, uh, you're still gaining quite a lot. I would also use the elemental weapon over force pulse since there's no connection with any skill. And as you can see, I'm still able to get the fifth piece bonus without using force pulse. So I have the Maelstrom's Inferno staff on the back bar with a Berserker enchantment and an infused trait. Um, it's important to keep down your wall of elements at all times so that you gain extra damage on your light and heavy attacks. Um, so 1.3k extra damage. Um, it's quite significant with the resource changes. So that is connected with this skill here, Blockade of Fire. So you need to have that down at all times. So I have two pieces of Zans. At the moment, everything's going to be Divines. Um, ideally, you'd want infused on the large pieces, um, but I ha have one heavy, one medium. I have magic enchantments on both. And as you can see here, this set is very strong. And as time goes on, the beam gets stronger by 50% every second for five seconds. So I have five pieces of burning spell weave, and this is not a crafted set. Um, so it's very important that you get the medium and heavy uh, monster helm pieces. And I have uh, three Moon Dancer jewelry pieces here to go with the staff. Um, so at all times the Minor Slayer is going to be active. I have two Arcane, one Bloodthirsty, and I have Spell Damage Glyphs on all of the pieces. Okay, so let's go over the skills. So on the front bar I'm running Blazing Spear. It's a very useful ability because it lasts once per rotation. Every 8 seconds we would reapply it. It does a significant amount of damage and it also provides someone else in the group with a synergy to activate, so extra resources. Because it's an Adric Spear ability, we get the Piercing Spear passive, so that's 10% more critical damage on that bar that it's slotted. And for that particular reason, we need to have at least one of these abilities on both bars. I've used the same one, um, but what you could also do, if you'd prefer not to do that, is swap out another ability. For example, Empowering Sweep, you could swap for Shooting Star. Uh, the next ability I use is Purifying Light. It's a very cheap ability, uh, 1.6k Magicka, and it lasts for 6 seconds. After that 6 seconds, it can reflect back up to 22,000 damage. So it's a very, very strong skill to use. Apart from that, also having this skill, because it's a Don's Wrath ability, and we're using it once per rotation, we're keeping a, con a constant, consistent minor sorcery uptime. So that's giving everyone who's a Magicka DD in the group 5% more damage. Uh, I have Elemental Weapon here, so that's giving 8k Magicka damage. Um, so it's quite significant, it adds 8k Magicka damage to your light attacks. Um, but you could also use Force Pulse if you're using Perfected Staff. Because it's a Sigic Order ability, um, I get the Spell Orb passive active, so that's more damage. I get the Concentrated Barrier, so when I block I get 5k, and also when I'm casting I get 30% uh, damage reduction. So I've got Channeled Acceleration as the next ability in place of, for example, Rearming Trap. Because I can use this at a range and it also has a longer um, uptime, so it's 36 seconds it lasts. I have Inner Light here for the 5% maximum Magicka. Um, but I also get passively 2% from the Magicka controller passive, just here. Um, and also the next ability uh, is Fiery Rage. So it's quite an expensive ultimate, but it's also the strongest AoE in the game, and very useful for a lot of fights. It also passively gives us access to the Ancient Knowledge passive, so that's 8% more damage with single target abilities. So that's everything on this bar except from the um, Spears. So very, very useful skill to have, um, but you could use Force Pulse, of course, and then swap this for Shooting Star. Um, so on the next bar, um, I'm using the uh, Vampire's Bane. So it's quite a strong dot. It does 13k flame damage over 11 seconds. Um, but also if I don't use Spell Power Potions, it's also a source of major prophecy. So you can use Trash Bots and use that. I've got Blockade of uh, Fire for the next skill giving me uh, more damage when an enemy is already burning. 20% more damage from this skill, so it's very, very useful. 
Um, the next uh, thing as well to mention is because it's an ancient knowledge passive I get the 8% and uh, I use channel focus here for the magic of sustain. Very important to keep that up at all times if you can. Um, I also have uh, dampen magica. Um, so dampen magic rather, sorry, and uh, that gives me a 12k shield. Um, but if I'm testing I'd swap that out for elemental drain here just giving me the mag minor magicka steel and also um, the breach. So I have Blazing Spear, I've mentioned already, and Shooting Star, one of the strongest dots in the game, um, but it doesn't move with an enemy, so it might, not, might not always be the best. You could swap that for Empowering Sweep if you're close range and you can follow them about. Empowering Sweep is probably the best way to go. Okay, so let's go over the champion points now. Um, so at the moment I'm running 56 points into Elfborn, I'm running 56 points into Elemental Expert, 28 points into Spell Erosion, 14 points into Staff Expert, 40 points into Master at Arms, and then finally 56 points into Thaumaturge. Um, so I would have previously put more points into Thaumaturge so that I could get access to the Exploiter passive, um, but what I've actually found is in Trials I'll do a lot more DPS if I spread the CP across these other areas instead of stacking them into Thaumaturge, and I get more damage with two flame staffs. So this is the rest of the CP, um, it does vary from trial to trial, so it's also important to know that this might not be the optimum setup for you in a trial situation. Okay, so we're now on to the final section of the video, the rotation section. Um, so this rotation is relatively simple in comparison to some of the other builds. Um, in general, it's going to be two skills on the back bar and then six on the front bar. Uh, the only exceptions will be the first time round when we're using the Destruction Staff Ultimate and whenever we need to reapply Rune Focus or Elemental Drain. When that happens, we'll have three on the back bar and five on the front bar. Um, so I'll just go over the full rotation just now so that you can see the rhythm of it all and also the rotation playing out. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything you'd li else you'd like to see, then please leave a comment down below. Um, also please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And of course click the bell button as well if you haven't already to be notified as soon as I've made a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.